What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Friday night. Nicole is joining. She's finishing getting ready. Tonight, we're doing something a little bit different, but um, done it once in the past. We had got a used RC and cleaned it up. Tonight, again, what we're doing, uh, but this time, actually, it's okay. <laughs> Tonight, the point is that I'm going to clean this thing up because this is going to go for sale. This is a custom truck based off of an SCX-10 platform. It's got Vanquish XR with Curry axles underneath of it, though. And it's got some custom tube work all done. The Vanquish OMFs, which are obvious, obviously something that's worth... Uh, worth some money. And then the truck body itself is an HPI mini trophy truck body. So the rear fenders are actually separate from the cab. And inside it appears that it's got, well, it has an interior and that interior is most likely also the HPI mini trophy truck. Cause that used to be a super popular interior choice back before the ones like the bomber and all of those were available. So that is the situation. That is what we're working with. Uh, I'm still somewhat getting situated. Situated. Um, I don't know anything about this truck. I've got it. And what the only thing that I've done so far is sprayed it with some simple green and hit it with an air hose just to get it, get the dust knocked off of it because it, I don't know the last time. So we're going to get into it a little bit. We'll see. Hopefully everything is going well. I haven't been looking at comments yet. So hopefully, uh, how much for that chingadera? I don't know what that means. And did you just say a bad word in another language? I don't know. It's Reuben that? from Utah. So it, it, it could be a bad word. That's what I was doing. I like that you said that I was. Um, well, you were getting a drink ready. Yeah, for you. So. Hello. Hello. I just took mine off as well. So, like I said, separate cabin body. Poor man's here. How's that baby? He's the... The new grandbaby? Baby. He's not really new. Well, I mean, the, I don't know how... The new smell I mean, seems to stay on like kids for a while. Away for a while. Interesting. So, the... Uh, Sippy cup tonight? Yeah, <laughs> that was all you. Uh, I think we looked at the replay a number of times, and I think it was you. I teed it up, and you. <laughs> I mean, it was a t ball level swing maker. I need this bigger. And <laughs> how about that? Alex said the replay was a team effort. Yes, exactly t-ball level effort. so i um was on youtube today what were you on youtube doing um watching something oh i was watching the bad lip reading <laughs> they had a new one that's my favorite they're still my favorite and uh i oh, look at that guy's name architect but with rc, RC. i cute. like it i like it too um it well what were we talking about? You were looking at bad lip reading. Oh, yeah. And then, so, like, it went to your video. So, I just went on there so I could give you a, a like from you and Matt. And I was, so, I watched the first five minutes of it. Probably three minutes, actually. And I heard um, Matt go, I got demonetized, blah, 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 because I said this. And Nicole cusses like a sailor. And I was like, thanks, Matt. <laughs> thanks for that. You do. <laughs> Damn, only three minutes? <laughs> she doesn't, you know what? That's why I married her. That is longer than I've watched any of him and Matt's video, or any of his videos, really. It's longer than she pays attention to most of my conversations. Mm -hmm. So, um, to give you guys an idea of what else is in this, it's got a Tekken Rock 412, 3100 KB, and then all the electronics are in a old Radio Shack project box. So I'm guessing based on the size that this is a Tekken RS because otherwise most sensor DSCs would not fit in there. We should probably crack that open because it's got a single red light 
LED wired into the cage corner. Old school Optima battery, Yeti radiator, upside down SCX10 style fuel cell, Yeti style sway bar. So, oh, and it has uh, Vanquish SCX101 shock towers. Those are also worth some money. Okay. Nice. What is this? What are you? What are you doing? I um. This is a used RC vehicle. Oh, that clearly. But haven't you had this forever? No. Oh. I've had this a week. Oh. <laughs> yes, I totally have had this forever. I mean, I thought... Totally. It's another one. I thought one. I've seen it before. I thought it's at the shop. Uh, It was at the shop. You are correct. I have only had it a week. Whose is it? Who'd you buy it from, Brandon? Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna text Brandon. <laughs> so, <laughs> how much? I don't know yet. I I don't know yet. The OMFs XR with Curry's, Tekken Rock Four Twelve. My Shabeba address is his, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know where the art, where the kitty went, the Lego kitty. Um. Well, it got knocked off the shelf, so I had to put it back together. <laughs> so we still have it. But, um, is the 50,000 truck done? Uh, the truck, I got everything ready, I think, and it should go off to suits. So, who won it? I don't know yet. I have to finish it first. Oh, um, finish my long travel suspension conversion on my slash two wheel drive today. I didn't know there was such a thing. Well, now you do. Where's the Unamog long truck? being blocked by her tall hair. It's right there. <laughs> oh, good evening, almost morning from Norway. Hello. If I had my phone, I could tell you exactly what time it is there. Yes, because you keep a world clock on Norway. Yeah, because my sister-in-law is from there. Yeah. And they're back there, and sometimes I need to call her. Are they back there? No, they were, but oh. I'm just this saying when they're back there, sometimes I need to call her, and I need to know what time it is in Oslo. Yes. Um. So, let's. Uh, I don't really know what my plan is, is for it this thing. Is it two It's like they're usually aren't they? These are seven hours of difference. Seven hours different. Oh, that was back home. I don't know about here. Oh, uh, nine hours. Um. Oh, it has uh. The wraith knuckles, and then therefore the wraith brass knuckle weights. Another bonus. I really know nothing about this vehicle. It's been sitting in the shop the whole time, basically, that you... But I've never looked at it. This is why you don't hang shit on the walls like that. Because <laughs> then you don't know. It's dumb. You don't remember what you have? Well, if you're not the trucks, you should play with them. So. Interesting idea they had, though, when they built that truck like 10 years ago. Yeah. So important to know what time it is in Oslo. Well, I. it is when you have people there you have to call. <laughs> got the same body on my trx4 sport iron man stewart livery what livery yeah what's a livery it's like the the graphic scheme on a race truck hmm. didn't know that learn something new every day i feel like a kid sitting here watching someone play with toys while eating my fruit snacks we're drinking our juice yeah uh, not not grape juice this time Ben wants to put on its wall. Go for it. You can. There's probably, I, if they're taking trucks down off the walls at Vanquish, I'll give you a number. Because <laughs> there's a ton of them. Got an Axial Raw SCX2 kit class 1 or class 2 build? Class 2. Craig Banks wants to know. Um, Although class 1 is... The SCX-102 is it's still such a great platform, but can be a little limited in places. And they but they make really good class ones, like without having to worry much about it. So class two is still my favorite area to go. But in the UK, Canada, Norway, everywhere, all over, I have hair on my face, I'm stuck in my glasses. Did we talk last week about the uh, when I went to try and go buy a another shelf from IKEA? Oh, no you and I talked about it on the phone. Yeah. But I don't want to talk about it. How mad you were at me. 
Not mad mad, but you don't need another shell. No, you need to play with what you got. Hi, Saffy. Hey. Hey. That scared me. Um Logan Customs says I will buy it for you for I'll buy it from you for five hundred dollars right now on stream. No, thank you. That that that's not gonna get it. <laughs> um yeah. It has some really nice parts on it. Didn't so. you take that to the swap meet to sell there? I did. You didn't sell at the swap meet? I did not. That was a, it was a drag racing crowd. Oh. More so. So it just wasn't the crowd for Harry Jesus. I'm late. What are we working on? Yes, that is the royal we. <laughs> I like that. Uh this is a used RC vehicle that I picked up that I'm gonna just kind of do a little once over, go through and get it ready to sell. Thank you again for signing my Jeep body last week. Hey, no problem. Must be Chris. Yeah. Just testing the theory O for saying, gotcha. For saying what? What Matt said. Oh. <laughs> um. Well, thanks. We don't want to do that because if that happens, then I'm definitely not going to be here. <laughs> right. <laughs> I promise you. Uh-oh. What happened? What? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, no, it's still there. I don't know what's going on. Okay. That's fine. That's, that didn't help me. Yeah, I know. Oh. Uh, if I get the Jado front arms and some 79 millimeter linkage arms. Swap them out and stock front arms on the slash. Oh, that's how to do the long travel slash? I have no idea. I'm Hi, guessing. guys from Oceanside, mm -hmm. California. Hello. Rebuild it with a VFD and VP cap portals and sell all the XR10 stuff on eBay. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I am going to do a quick once over this evening and then it's going to go back out. It will look almost exactly like it did at the beginning of the stream. I'm just trying to do like a basic once over more than anything. I just don't know what parts are in this thing at all. So it'd be good to have some idea. So Josh, are you ex as excited as I am about the B17 Betty STX 24 being released as a limited edition with a serial number chassis? I am. What's a, what's that? So it's, they basically did like a commemorative first version of one of the axial trucks. So like the very first truck axial ever made. Oh, they gotcha. They made a small one that's like it. And it's like one through 10,000. Betty? What's that? That's the name of the body. That's cute. Yeah. You, should do, you could do a Betty and Veronica. Like it comes head. painted and everything. Slivery. Yeah. There you go. Um, did Mama T stop watching because you haven't fixed the sign yet? Mama T and Daddy T. Got hit by a hurricane. They did. So yesterday. They oh, day before yesterday. Yeah. Um. What was Wednesday? They don't have power. They're I running guess. on a generator. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that was uh. They got, they got hit. Um. They had some some damage, but not terrible. Um. Helping neighbors who had worse damage right now. I am so far behind. I need you to be Dale. See, we were up in your area a lot, a couple few weeks ago. Yeah. And we were up in Olympia. He's in Seattle. Yep. Um. We back to find mad on Nicole terms. It's about passing. You. About your shelf. I was like, like, are you serious? Like, no, no, you do not need another shelf. But if you're going to Ikea, will you get me a rolling cart? Like, <laughs> How did you cut the renders on the Dodge Power Wagon body? All right, I'm skipping. I'm going down. I don't even remember having one of those. Oh, I, get, I mean, I made a mud truck out of one a long time ago. Oh, it's after a Warplane B-17, buddy. Yeah. RC Patino guys here. Next, build a tube cage on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want one, but the wife said no because of Betty on the side. Doesn't want the young kids to see it. <laughs> Isn't that Becky? Oh my God, Becky! No, no, different one. That's the only Becky. That's the only Becky I know. 
Uh, did they enjoy the ride of the hurricane? Uh, um, I got a little bit of a play-by-play while it was going on. They had a, like 90 to 100 mile an hour winds. Yeah, as Gus. They got hit pretty direct. Yeah. Um, it's even a Maine Coon, not just a cougar or a bobcat taking advantage of you. I missed it. Um, Quinn Bryant, Pond Ferrata, finally watching an actual live stream. Welcome. Hey, thanks for joining. Hi from Connecticut. How much wine have you spilled? None. None. We're, we, we are risking it again. Yeah. We both have open containers. <laughs> um, are you doing a giveaway this week? I mean, usually they're kind of spur of the moment if those happen. <laughs> um, I've never seen you do a giveaway on the screen. Every once in a while. I've, you I've, must do it when I'm not here because you need, it's some, yeah, you need think... something entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ass. Uh, Nicole. <laughs> Where did he put all the stuff from on top of the toolbox? He said where it belongs. I put it. I did. Oh, I, I didn't even away. notice that monster up there. I put everything away. Um, I have this. I have a problem of like any of the screws left over from a project that I like. Matt has... Conley said my eight-year-old Michaela says hi, Nicole and Kitty. She doesn't care about Josh. I like Michaela. I that's understandable. Wonder what a Michaela's gonna be for Halloween. I'm so. Excited slash bummed for all the kids at tomorrow's Halloween. Our neighborhood's doing a Halloween parade tomorrow at two o'clock, though. It's weak. Well, because they're doing trick or treating later. But how? Oh. Like you can leave candy out. And our neighbors have a shoot. That'd be shoot. the easiest way to go. Our neighbors have a shoot. Like the. Did you not. Did you go Do look it? at it? I bet I could make an air cannon by the time it's time. Well, there. I think that like a modified spud gun. I think the parade is supposed to throw candy at you, not you throw candy at the parade. I want to throw candy at kids. That's fine. I'm just gonna say that I. If they can drive a car, I don't care. Little kids are harder to hit. Um. Was so disappointed last year because we I was had like no so excited because we were in the country for five years and then we were in an apartment that didn't have any kids and then we came here and I was so excited and I bought two giant things of candy from fucking Sam's Club or Costco, whatever. This is why we get demonetized. Yeah. Um, and I was so excited and then we got four. Yeah. And five. I gave the girl next door like filled her thing up and her parents were like <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I don't want it here. I've already eaten forty five Reese's. <laughs> All right, let's open up this electronics box. What do you bets in here? Yeah. And a giant inflatable unicorn. I love that. I saw a girl on TikTok had like stiletto heels and was like, going to be uh, like acting like she was going to be sexy something for Halloween. And then she had one of those giant blow up unicorn things on <laughs> with the heels. Um, Watch your profanity. Good luck. Yeah. You can watch it come out of my mouth. Watch your profanity. Um, let's see. Southern mis misery. Rain all week. It's snow. Well, they didn't can city. Turns out apple whiskey plus spray paint the 87 Toyota body in a small room makes for a fun <laughs> night. <laughs> Does Ikea still have a line around the parking lot? I highly doubt my husband would have been there if there were. No, there was no line. Good Lord. The electronics are packed in this thing. Um, I apologize if I'm skipping you. Okay. It's a Spectrum ESC, a BEC, and a Tekken RS. That's as much as I'm going to get into that. You can re-ask your question. My wife's office went to Cheesecake Factory just as characters from Schitt's Creek and in character. <laughs> That's when we have We haven't seen that yet. I Everyone mean, talks I so know. highly about it that... I'm sure I'd love it. I bought a gom then watched the older video he did and instantly regretted my purchase. Aww. <laughs> UFC to kill a... Hey, y'all. Phoenix. 
UFC. Oh. Nicole, you need to tone it down. There are sailors in here that haven't heard that kind of language. <laughs> <laughs> Drop candy on kids from your Mavic. <laughs> I can't fly my Mavic here. I'm too. We're too close to an airport. <laughs> mm. So it gives me warning. It does. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Gene Master. Put peanut M and M's in that, Josh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus Ibarra, hello, you're one of our, um, 290 favorite people as well. Perry G, thank you, sir. $5 for a wine sippy cup. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, well, Leo Sanchez, you're kind of a downer. Candy contributes to diabetes. Well, that, I mean, it's true. That's, that's true. That, man, this. Everything in moderation. Um, explain over under drive gears and their benefits. I'll do it really quickly. Uh, over under drive gears spin the axles at different rates, usually the, and that's the front faster than the rear. It helps you turn sharper and climb steeper, although it can have some adverse effects with side hilling. And same thing, extreme amounts can make turning sharper and everything, but it makes makes the pros more and the cons more as well. So there you go. Um, did you get a chance to enjoy any of the watermelon shine? Oh. Unibody wheeler? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you know what else I didn't get at Crawl for the Cure was... What's his face? What's his name? Uh, Chris SBC. SBC. I don't know if he. I mean, yeah. he had it. Oh, did he? He told me he did, and I was gonna go back, and I did because he always has a thing of apple juice, and it's always. And I was like, "Hey, buddy!" <laughs> and he was like, "I got it back here." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> uh, it was pretty good. It was very strong. You're so when, and then you drove home. Oh. No. Where, where were you? It was dropped off at the shop, but. I'm so mad. No, I forgot to tell you. This is as mad as I get. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. We've got an over Loctited screw situation that I'm remedying. Hey y'all, I've got a Home Tobby Polar Pro V2 coming from my VS410 Ultra. Is there any fitment issues with that setup? Uh, not as long as just the regular Polar Pro. The If you get the long, like the L, then there can be. But if you get the regular Polar Pro or the stubby, you're fine. Is that a... And Holmes is awesome. Right. Is that a BPC, BPC battery tray? Yes. Are XR10 axle shafts still available and where can I buy them? We do still have some XR10 axle shafts, and it's just every once in a while we make a batch and put them on the site. You guys need like notifications or something. Or is that just the fun of it? It's kind of the fun. It's like a scavenger hunt. Okay. What happened to Rebecca? Rebecca, Matt's wife? Yeah. What about it? Oh. Nothing. Did something happen? No. Am I? <laughs> I'm hopeful if it's something did. Um. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind and people are giving us money. Well, this seems like. Uh, Quack RC, $3 Canadian. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you. Quack RC. That's cute. Um, oh, and Dale C. <laughs> <laughs> hey, librarian, the 14-year-old started online high school. He is here three days a week. He asked this week if he could just stay here all the time, meeting for the first time in February to living with us. Aww, that's so sweet. He loves y'all. That's exciting. Congratulations. Oh, my. Sam C., SC Domestics. Oh, hey, Sam. He gave us uh, 10 quid. I think that's right. 
Or is that, because that's not your, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, I mean, it's. Aren't you fancy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, wow. What is a knock? Um, in Norwegian. Oh, wow. Thank you. Cheers question. TRX4 axles on VS410. Will VP drag pan hard link setup work with VFD transmission? Yes. The only thing you have to do is you have to, the front upper link, you need to space over. I used like a, a, a maybe like a six or eight mil spacer on the outside and then moved the upper link over there. Um, but drive shafts will clear. You just have to worry about that front upper link. And if you put a bend in it, you might be able to do it easier. Okay. We need to hang out with him when we're in Norway. 43 cents USD. <laughs> <laughs> it looks uh, impressive. If we get 200, I'm sure it's more that was a joke. Right. Um, if we get 200 likes, Nicole will bring in Sookie, Cone of Shame and all. Oh, my poor baby girl. I was wondering if anyone has a full-size truck bed camper set up rig for a Lexan body full or long bed truck. Want to get some ideas if anybody has ventured to do this. Um, I have seen it done. Um, I've seen it done at Axial Fest a couple of times, but I think they were just all scratch built. Um, the cone of shame is still here. Yes, she's still wearing the cone of shame. Yeah, she's got another little while. I need to get something to stop. Were you happy with the 1800 KV motor on the gatekeeper or um, would you run something else? I personally would have liked um, a, a little bit faster. For me, I think while the 1800 KV, while the system itself was fine, uh, nice and smooth and the convenience factor of it was great, it was a little bit slow. So I would have liked faster um, or would have liked to have run 4S, but it can't handle that. Um, Nicole's arguing with, Al Nicole's literally arguing with Alexa. Jeez. She says, sorry, I can't do that right now. <laughs> uh -huh. RC Vodanica, hey, if you, if, how come we never see Matt on here watch you guys? He is jealous of Nicole. <laughs> he pops in every, last week he popped in right as we destroyed my enter key on the keyboard. Hello from Kansas City. Got a question. What do you think of the TF2 BF Goodrich edition? Um, I'm here. I think it looks okay. I, I mean, I don't mind the livery. I don't know if it's the same as the Marlin or not. The Marlin seems like it was always the better buy, but. Um, Look who I got. Still. Oh, Peanut. Came running in. He never shows up. Um, the gatekeeper is here in New Arizona. Yeah, I, I uh, when I went down to. Arizona, I left my uh, gatekeeper down there with a friend so he could drive it around, play with it for a little bit. J.R. Lawson, thank you for the $5. This show is the best way to end the week. Hey, that'll work. I love that Alex knows all of our cats. Can you come stay here when we go out of town? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you cone of shame on your hand. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Me Moose Joe. <laughs> not going to lie. Like, that's why I was like, why are you laughing? I don't get right. <laughs> What's up, Peanut? He's the scaredy cat. Yes, he's my special baby. I feel. Uh, what are we drinking? Um, Coke Zero. With cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon Coke Zero. What kind of shocks are on there? Um, these are low C comp crawler shocks. So all threaded body. It's got the white springs on it, which are nice soft spring, but they're a, a four inch shock, but then they're just nice and smooth. And actually they, they seem to still have a good amount of oil in them. There's no, uh, oil residue around the lowers. They, they look good. I think he was saying, he said, you should, you should delete your history. Like maybe you need a cone of shame. <laughs> <laughs> How is this rig going to be for sale? Um, I don't know yet. I mean, I probably will put it on my website or if I, if I have to, otherwise I'll just, if somebody messages me, I haven't come up with a price though. 
Um, I know all the names of the important characters on the sitcom. Zappy, Soggy, Peanut, Nicole, and the dude who wears hats. <laughs> the, man, the man who wears hats. That, the men who stare at goats. That was a good movie. It was. George Clooney. Brad Pitt. For uh, both. George Clooney. George Clooney. I, Josh, I like how you said we destroyed the keyboard. It's Fireball and Coke. That's why it's cinnamon. Yeah. Yes. Sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Let's be honest. The show is more fun without the Eastern Canadian guy. <laughs> and then, of course, he has to say, I'm just kidding. Because I'm from British Columbia. Because he has to be nice because he's Canadian. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. I'm really nice. He Ben needs a price. Ben, okay, I'm I'm thinking. Ben is our our call him the benefactor. <laughs> um, Harley, I have a three thirty four millimeter wheelbase leaf spring chassis that I have Scott Lempert building a mid eighties extended cab F series long bed body for. Uh, well, that's awesome because Scott is crazy talented, um, and does awesome work. So, I mean, the leaf spring part I'll let slide just because Scott's building something for Timberwolf him. Timberwolf 429, did you get that from the roller coaster? Did he say he's from Kansas City? Yeah. Oh. Huh. That's why I'm asking. Wood roller coaster? Right. Whoa, I have a lot of missed messages. What did... Oh. Um... The men okay. who stare at RCUs. <laughs> How many hats do you own? My brother in law has like 150 hats or so. He um, has like three at a time. My, my, I do not have a lot of hats. I wear the same hats over and over until I destroy That's them. Frenchman crawler? Frenchman and a crawler. He's a man on Instagram who sent me a nice hat. It was a nice hat. That's why I'm... Because I had finally wore... I had sweated through... Ben had sent me one. That was that Travis Matthews one. Oh, yeah. That was cute. That I really liked. But I had destroyed it. Yeah. You're Because that's the thing. I wear hats until they're no good. It's like shoes for me. Yeah. And me. Yeah. True. We both... We don't... We do not have, like... Your brother. Many shoes. <laughs> we just have the shoes we wear until they're no longer worth wearing. Yeah. Um, how much steering angle in degrees do the SCX-10 to F9 portals have? Um, I think 48, if I remember correctly. It's like 48 or 49. Um, Harley, I asked around and apparently Chilean cinnamon rolls is a thing here in Iowa, but my mom doesn't like it, so we never got it. Ha! See? There were some people who strongly disagreed with my, that chili and cinnamon rolls is a Midwest tradition. Oh. They're like, mm, never had it. Like, well. Like pork chops and applesauce? Pork chops and applesauce, yeah. I don't think that's just as memorable of one. Like, that's just. Did you guys ever eat shit on a shingle? No. Oh, we did. Isn't that just biscuits and gravy, basically? No, it's toast with gravy and buttock beef cut up into squares. Sounds delicious. What are you for? Sorry. No, the chassis came from Adelaide, Australia. I'm going to pop wheels with a dirt bike through my neighborhood with a costume on. <laughs> Damn it. What's your views on the new, uh, we already did that one, the 124th B17 Betty 15 edition. Yeah. I'm excited. I got, I bought one. Did Nicole say she's from Canada? No. Kansas. The Canada of the Midwest. It's not. I think Nebraska is more like the Canada of the Midwest. We're going to replace uh, some bent lower link bolts. Mm. Chicken and pastry or chicken and dumplings? Chicken and dumplings? Chicken and dumplings, for sure. We had SO show on for dinner a lot when I was a kid. My VS410 chassis kit came in today putting SCX10 2 axle under with a 12 3 links with the pro body fit. Any clearance problems? Nope. Everything should just drop right. I don't know how I have 
mustache hairs in my mouth tonight. I've hardly ever missed KCRC boys. Yeah. Always. Time. I, I want to get out to Goat Hill next year. I got Jerry to build a full frame for my one six scale F three fifty. Nice. Death metal garage. Jerry, ju Jerry Justice. Has Vanquish got any main dealers in the UK? Uh, Pit Stop RC or, sn or is it Snake Pit RC? Something Pit. Or that's super helpful. I know. I'm just it. It's super hard. UK will like get dealers every once in a while, and it. I think it depends a lot on like the status of what the cost and everything. Um, and everything coming in, so I don't know. It's quite hard. We leave. got another hundred knocks from our Norwegian from Tor? friend. Yeah. Uh, just tw ten. Thank you. We appreciate all. <laughs> we appreciate you being here. Um, saying, uh, enjoying the live show with a craft beer from the U.S. Evil Twin Stout. Thought Josh did craft beers before. He I... did before he. Well, I can't say what I usually say. Yes, um, I develop some sort of like allergy or something to lady parts if he moved to california as you say what i say yeah <laughs> um but now craft beers give me a massive headache he or else you're getting old i could be getting i dropped a driver <laughs> today they oh my gosh we're everyone's talking so fast Oh, thank you. Dan Ottoman, Auto Man, Dan Auto Man, Dan Dan mm. Auto Man, $83, $3. Thank you. Must have been born in 83. Good year. Jesse Max here. Hello from Waxahachie, Texas. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't want to explain what I did. What? This guy says, my wife's from Canada and my name is also Josh and we also have two 14-year-old Bengal cats. Hey! Crazy! JJ78N. Nick LaRusso, evening. Whoa, Brad Hedges, thank you. $20. Hey, thank you, Brad. Um... Sorry for sounding creepy earlier. Didn't he? <laughs> what, did he? I don't know. I, I didn't. <laughs> you would have to be incredibly creepy for... Yeah. Especially for it to be so creepy that it's memorable. That was, yeah, but thank you. Uh, new motor recommendations to replace the Hobbywing Axe 54023 in my Capra four-wheel steer, full brass, two tooth. Um, so the Capra is kind of oh, high Oh, they know what you did. What? Is how everyone knew. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I tried to grab my shock. I dropped the shock and I tried to grab it with my legs and I squeezed my legs real fast. No. And my jeans were a little tight. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, everyone let me know what, what he said because I know it's not creepy. Uh, uh, but anyway, the 2300, it, the Capra, it feels like it's sometimes best in that like 18 to 2200 kV and I really like the Holmes Polar Pro V2 that I put in uh, my setup after the first setup because I'd put a 2700 kV in at first and it was too fast so um, 1800 kV might be a little bit better for what you like or for that capper especially if you're running the stock transmission um, and then gear it down as far as you can so this just makes me laugh yeah <laughs> Uh, Dean Master says, my new Angora SCX-10-2 knockoff from China turned an hour ago, hoping to make use of it. What's your opinion on these? Gene Masters, I always thank you for the support. And I know that getting things in Australia can be more difficult, but I am very, very much so not a fan of Angora. Are they knockoff? They knock off a lot of VP stuff. Well, yeah. Almost all the time. Oh, there's a lot of those. So. Not a not a fan. Oh man! Wow, Quack RC five dollars. Good job. Thank you. Nursing home discussions were creepy. <laughs> Let us remember that this is trash comment. 
This is trash. Sorry, that was rude. I'll leave. Josh pulled <laughs> a Henry Ford the second on Ford vs. Ferrari. <laughs> I mean, Jesse's cone of shame on hand. So creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this stream is trash. Robin Moore, 499. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Brad, if you were really creepy, you'd get kicked out of chat. Yeah. <laughs> Any new updates on your Capra? Um, I need to because I have it. So basically, I have my Capra all rebuilt with that custom RC Speedy chassis. I need to do a video on it. Um, I had some issues with that chassis, and there isn't much I can do other than return it for his only his only uh, course of action on my kind of bunk shock mount situation is return it. Um, but I've already done all that stuff to it already. There's I don't know. So I'm going to probably cut the chassis up myself a little bit to try and fix it, but um then i will do and i'd probably do an update before that hopefully soon thank you for the five dollars goodness you come to goat hill i'll show you what a cross demon with a G new g2 trans can do much stronger trans it just sucks we're only back we're usually back for like a long period of time at christmas and so it's obviously snowing at goat hill so we don't yeah make it out there super often can you catch that shock book better? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the low bucks. I have a baby coming in March. I mean, this. 19 days. What? Wait, who's, it, who's saying that? Oh, sorry. Uh, he said, sorry for the low donation. Love oh. That. Thank you for anything. We appreciate sorry. Yeah, it. Yeah, no, no. And thanks for hanging out. And yeah, thanks for being here. Um, I'm happy you're here. The uh, But we have a new nephew coming in. 18 days. I'm like 17. Whatever. You should be happy I'm that close. I know. It's only because you follow her on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. There's so many. So much happening. Um. Oh. All right. Ben, thank you for the $5 boo on China knockoff. Um. All right. Okay. Ed Bongstein, thanks for the live stream. Bongston? Bongston. Yeah. Brad had just $2. Vanquish three gear trans and dig 56 slash nine gears. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, then honestly, that 2300 isn't, I think that's a pretty good choice. Um, I'm really going to, if you already went to a three gear trans, 2300 KV is a pretty good choice. I, I, uh, that's probably about what I would suggest. And then if you're, you know, if you're keeping the axe, I thought he said he was replacing it. Um, I personally like the home stuff, uh, for motors or the Tekken and then castle or Tekken ESCs. But those are my preferences. I was going to run that new FOC system in my Capra, but it didn't fit with the ESC tray or dig. And I was just like, eh. I put it in the gatekeeper instead. Um, I did get two new AX systems in today to try out in different things. So <laughs> I like to try, like, I don't want to dislike them sometimes. They just, they don't like them. Does a 550 motor fit in the gatekeeper? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, I'm trying. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Squints Pelodorus. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Um, $5 from Timberwolf. Think a Castle Sidewinder 3 SCT 3800 KV will liven up a 110 Yeti score. Um, uh Yes. The Yeti score is a little bit slow. If you haven't, if you go inside of the Yeti score transmission, inside is there's just these two gears. Take and flip those gears, one for the other. That will also help your speed a little bit. It's a quick, easy way to adjust and get more gearing. The Yeti score just didn't have enough gearing. So get as big opinion as you can. That 3,800 KV system, make sure you watch your motor temps um, and go from there. But it's a, I think the motor and ESC choice is perfect. 
Um, Just watch your motor temps. It's hard to take serious advice from a guy with that much brass on his truck. <laughs> Original knuckle weights. <laughs> I was joking. Original knuckle weights. <laughs> Thoughts on the motor ESC combo? Was that Timberwolf? Or... No. Oh, damn it. Might have missed it. Hey, Billy Max in here. Yeah. And Ripper Machinist. Um, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm so Antony. Antony. What? All right. Front rear two shocks felt great. We got the bolts replaced. Josh, serious question. What is it about Rangers you don't like? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, I like to make I like to make fun of Rangers more than anything. Yeah. I don't necessarily dislike them. No. I mean, it's just it's a fun truck. To... Yeah, it's just silly. It's just being silly. Do you have or will you be getting an SCX24? Uh, I do have I have the C10 version right down there. You can't see it. And then I've got the B17 version coming. Um what new scale category is Axial getting into? I saw that uh, in the documentary. If you guys didn't watch the documentary, you should. Uh, the 15, first 15 years of Axial documentary. Matt Kett edited that and did a fantastic job. Um, that sounds so boring. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> um, but they, yeah, they mentioned, oh, Axel getting into the new, into new segments that people maybe didn't anticipate or think of. And I thought that was an interesting comment as well. Um, Todd Hodge, who was the one who made that comment is in charge of all ground categories at Horizon. So by and all I means, when he says something, it means something. I'm not saying just Axel. I'm saying anybody. Oh, I'm aware like, of what you're saying. I mean, Axel would probably be the most non-boring of all of them. Other than Vanquish. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Axial has a really fun story. Right. But. But yeah. Um, so no, I thought that was a really interesting comment and made me think as well. I don't know the answer. At what scale? Snowmobiles. Ooh, can't you just do like one sixth, one eighth, one fifth, one fourth? Like what the fuck other scale can you do? They're talking about like completely different things. Like not just rock crawler. Boats, planes, trucks. Right, like which, like what else is there? Motorcycle. They don't make any of those. They only make scale. Trucks. They're talking about getting Axial. into it. I'm, yes, I thought like something that nobody else had thought about. Right. Period. End of story. The first five by five. It's like uh, the, it's like the old John Deere Gators, but those were four by five, five by four. What does I it say even, four by five? The fact that you even know that we had one. Of course you did. Had the it had a single front wheel and then four wheels in the back. Then when you turn, <sighs> our watch is out of battery. Had it on the farm. Mm -hmm. Should I buy a gatekeeper? The gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. Um, if you like the style, then it's underneath. It is basically an enduro. So if you want a scale truck and you like the style, then great. If you're not just after the style, there's not really a big point to get it. So, an yeah, axle drift car would be fun. That wasn't my idea; it was other people's. It could be. drift cars are fun for a minute, and then. Um. Okay. They almost made a nitro motorcycle. Skill crawler fab shop. Thank you for the. Five dollars. What are scale ding dings? This is the fun. In oh, Japan, in Japan, they have small, three D printed penises. Oh yeah. And then you, they you have like dress them up as whatever you yeah, want. Yeah. They have all these little things you can you can like three D print armor. Yeah. For them and funny hats. Yeah. And yeah. You think Elena hasn't known about that shit for ten years? Oh yeah. I mean it's. Yeah, but that is what. Ding dings. People thought that they, people were excited. They thought it was like something cool. <laughs> Axial Reliant Robin. Um, yes. What is it? A tiny dancer? I have a tuck tuck and a tiny dancer. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all should open up an auction for your rigs, RC Wars. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you do a brazing tutorial video looking to build my first Cajun bumper? I need to update my chassis fab how-to video. John Grant, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. Has Josh let you drive the new Jeep pickup truck? Yes. I yes. drove it for while he was out of town. Where was I? Arizona. Arizona. And I was like, mm, this is mine now. Um, These shocks all still feel really good. It's nice. A tap tap. It puts its lotion. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I 3D printed about 30 ding dings for my coworker. He is <laughs> super gay. Not an issue with that. He started placing them all over the 20 story building we just finished. One year at Axial Fest, someone was. It was Chino from Delta Hobby. <laughs> It was hilarious. I was like, they weren't ding dings, but they were small they were, 3D printed. And they were all sparkly. They were all glitter filament. Remember? Yes. And oh, I, I remember. Like, they were everywhere. I found them in my cars for weeks after yeah, accident. Yeah, it was fest. awesome. Whoever, yeah. Yes. This um, one, this shock, we're going to top off. Castle Slate versus Rock for 12 versus Holmes. Um, sorry, hold on. Hello, Michael Kubitka. The, uh... It's way to do I find the slates to be a little neutered on low-end power. Um, I love Castle ESCs. I just don't love their motors. So, I would go... The, uh, I like... I think the Polar Pros are a little bit smoother than the, uh... Tekens, I, so I, I do like those, um, especially on the startup side. So, uh, but the T, I don't know, there's something about the Tekens and their long term reliability that's always done really well for me. So, I also really like those. Yo, one, hello at Harley Designs 100. Yo, one, yo, two. I want to do an right. SDX 10 3 ground up build, but with the Vanquish version of the AR44, I don't know how I Will feel. You answer that one? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about portals. I don't know what portals are, so. Like, if it's a portal to another dimension, you're good. That'd be fun. What'd you tell him? Um, I don't know what a portal is. Oh. It's the. You've got one in there. Oh uh, yeah, my Facebook portal. Yeah, your Facebook portal. I said Same thing. it's a portal to another dimension. We're good. Oh, of course. Um, where are you from again? Kansas City. Well, we live in California. <laughs> we live in the asshole of California. No offense to anyone who was born and raised here. <laughs> yeah, that seems super, <laughs> super, you know. <laughs> It's okay. They know. They they know. <laughs> yeah. Um. What? Oh. When I first told my coworkers I had a three D printer, a crazy caveman wanted me to print him an adult toy. That was the first thing all of my friends asked when. What? They, oh, like as a joke. Elena. I mean, why would <laughs> she was like, how many dicks can you print with it? <laughs> That's all I care about. Maybe Axel will make construction equipment. I mean, um, someone asked about the what's the best first first truck. Um, little tip, don't get your teeth fixed at the dentist on your birthday. A numb face sucks for birth. Uh -huh. That depends on who you're asking. Numb face sucks for what? Birthday celebration. <laughs> <laughs> the, what is wrong with you? This is a family show. Is it? It's late. Um. And how long is your is your tooth numbing lasting, Michael? Well, happy birthday. Yeah, no kidding. Happy birthday. What are you like? Twenty four. Oh man. Michael's young. At least he looks young. Come on, threads. 
Why do they not want to start? Um, Nicole, has Josh ever built you a truck? Yes, he has. All of these. <laughs> At least 50% of them. <laughs> if it comes down to it. <laughs> no, I have no desire to have a truck or touch one. 3 a.m. in Europe, again, can find at home. Stay strong all, yo one. Um, hey everyone, I'm getting married. Exciting, congratulations. Uh, I feel like we need this Elena on a Friday live stream. She sounds like she is awesome. Elena's a riot. She's my fave. Oh, I have a new t-shirt I will send to you soon. Thank you, John. John. <laughs> Josh did a tuck tuck to his ding ding while Dream <laughs> catch a shell. <laughs> if Josh built her a truck, she probably would just say, That's nice and move on. Yeah, that's cute. I'm like, You built it for who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, if I sent you a doc I'm writing to define the ultimate crawler slash surface transmitter, do you have contacts with any of the industry folks who could get it to their sales marketing engineering folks? Um <laughs> I mean, you can write that doc to anybody. There's a, I wouldn't, I won't tell you, no, I won't tell you it's a waste of your time, but um, like I've worked with Fataba on things like that. And every year they would send us a thing saying, Hey, write us what you would ideally want in a trans. So like every year we give them that list, like, and they just either decide that it's not consumer viable or not in the price range they're after or not in the target market they're after. Like, Okay. Every year we give these companies the, that document. <laughs> Should I get the Armand Fraction as my second RC car? That's a lot of RC car, but it looks like a lot of fun. Oh, I have the Infraction, I guess. It is a lot of fun. The V2 looks even more fun. Yes, get it. <sighs> this cartridge seems to be kicking my ass. It's a family show. Um, Six and a half hours, they numb the shit out of my face. I couldn't eat all day. And I'm 23. 23. I was close, though. I'm just to turn 23 again. Yeah. She looks so excited being here talking about RCs. This must be her first show. Welcome. That's just, that's just her face. I'm forced into this. And no, I'm not excited. Um, Timberwolf, another $5. Thank you. But you didn't answer my question about the roller coaster. Did Har Harley's wrong. 1984 is the best year. Ooh. 1986. Why 1986? I don't know. I mean, 1996. <laughs> <laughs> for wine. 1986 is for wine. Oh, you like that. That's the, yeah. the year of wine you like. Yeah. The Franzia, the box wine. Yeah. <laughs> like 86 vintage Franzia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Looking for a BDI update. How about it, Josh? Um, the update is, is that it belongs to, uh, I believe, Chad Melton. I can give $5 and say it's 1979. How about 1200 PayPal ready? I pay shipping. <laughs> Done and donner. Okay. <laughs> Look for it from C1RC Crawlers. Are you going to make it to Scale Nationals March 19th through the 21st? Planning on it. Planning. Planning. Back home. Say what? No, I probably won't have a birthday party this year. Yeah, there's no way. She's not making it. He's speaking of my great-grandmother who's going to turn 108 March 15th. April, March, April, April. 15th. Yeah. Tax day. Which says all you need to know. Yes. Mm -hmm. She was born on the day that income tax became a thing. One year to the day the Titanic sank. Yeah. A lot of karma walking around with that lady. <laughs> Black RC, $2, totally, two bucks. Totally Thank decent. you, keeping it classy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Um, oh. <laughs> that was nice, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. It's a hobby. 
Um, if you ever have crazy thoughts of having kids, please let me know. I'll ship my three-year-old down to you. Best birth control in the world. We, you know what? Love children. We love visiting people with lots of kids. We for, love to For leave. that reason. Because children are the best birth control. But we love them. We like to give them gifts and walk away. We don't like, walk away. We like to play with them. The, pr the presents. Right. Yeah. Not the kids. Well, I mean, like, don't, you're a creeper. No, I meant like. Oh, shit. What? Oh, baby kitten screaming. <laughs> I'm going to bring her in for a minute. Oh. Oh, damn it, Josh. One of my drag cars. You don't need this much shit. No one needs this much shit. <laughs> shock oil is still in the shock. Thank you, Mike J. Let's see. 1970 is superior. There were some good cars out of that year, at least. Let's see. Mm, Franzia. I remember going to a convention once and filling up one of those hydro packs with Franzia and just walking around the hotel drunk all day. Wow. <laughs> oh, Timberwolf was... Oh, it jumped right when I was about to read. Uh, Timberwolf is answering a question. I don't like to go to most theme parks. Way too many people. Way too much going on. I don't like crowds. Yeah, I get it. Here's baby kitten with cone of shame. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's what you get. You told me to go get her. I know. Uh, hit the like button, folks. Yes. Thank you, Toad Daddy. Uh, will Sookie be making it a psh, perfect timing? I'll raise you a 9-year-old, 13-year-old, and 14-year-old. <laughs> you know, that we don't support child trafficking. Or the insurance that comes along with them. Any clue on what one to buy for a first first one got four hundred dollars to spend four hundred bucks get yourself either a trx4 sport a scx10 2 rtr which are still fantastic buys and still super reasonable um or like an element one of one of those 400 bucks will get you a truck and then you're gonna have to kind of you're gonna have to penny pinch a little bit on a battery and charger but get yourself a good one okay. like one four thousand milliamp 3s should, that'll run on any of those trucks and a decent lipo charger. What's up, baby kitten? Grab her. And give her. I know my love. I'm so soft. I hope Josh is buying you wine out of a bottle and not in a box. Depends on the week. Depends on what she how she's acting. <laughs> uh, where's the bomber RR10 vids? At, uh, at tell me, please. I did a... Up, a final update on the bomber two weeks ago. Uh, I just have to do the running video, but finished it all up. Let's see. Uh, it's a roller coaster of emotion of emotions. <laughs> did Nicole spill again? She did not. It was just the cat screaming at us. Um. Oh, it jumped down. Sorry. Um, where'd it go? Will you sell the class two scale Nash truck? I don't know. I kind of like that truck. I really like the cage work and all that. And I just never, I need to get back to like kind of finishing the details. I don't know. It's a possibility, but I'm not sure. At least she didn't step on a leg. I bought the bomber 2.0 for you. Um, oh, for the, gotcha. The same. So many shits were getting. Did you race last weekend or just film? I was just there to film. Uh, they're film. They're racing again this weekend, and they're, it's a list race though, rather than a cash days. I might go film, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Drag car that will run maybe in a year or two. So, <laughs> see, you need another shelf. Totally agree. I wish they made the shelf still. They just don't make it in black. Uh, wife wonders what happened to the car you paid a shit ton of money for. Um, well, it depends on which one you're referring to. 
uh, if you're talking about the red one that was a thousand, it's on the shelf and I need to find somebody local to strip it so I can get it coated again and then I'll get it rebuilt. Um, that's really what I'm waiting for. It needs to get stripped and rebuilt and then sold to recoup my money. It'll make, it'll make money in the end. <laughs> hey, that's not shit. It's an investment. Nice to see my wife isn't the only one that's annoyed by my mass amount of RC stuff. Yeah, I've been doing better. I've been trying to clean up a little bit. It's just not working. I was born in 89. It's crazy hearing about all the guys graduating high school before I was even alive. I used to be that guy. And now everyone's, you know... I hear people like, like I was born in 2000 and I'm almost old enough to drink. What? <laughs> okay, now I'll hit the like. There you go. Um, kids are great. Battered and fried. <laughs> I PM'd you at Harley's Facebook about getting it just whenever you're done. I will check that C1RC crawlers and let you know. Uh, I'm going to the RC store tomorrow. I got $700 to spend. Any recommendations? Anyone can answer. Long neck gaming. Um, 700 bucks. You're, you're stepping in with a big, good size budget. You're going to be able to... There's some good cars you can get in that range. Or it depends on if you need like cars, transmitter, or you know, car, batteries, charger, all of that. Then that kind of tends... Hey, Timberwolf, five bucks again. RC cars are like guns. You never have one to me. Yes, you can never have too many. Totally agree. I say that confidently without her in the room. Looking into the C2X, are they good rigs? I don't really think they're a great rig. I think they're kind of a hodgepodge of old parts that they tried to put together into a new package that I don't think is worth the money. I like RC four-wheel drive for some of their stuff, but I do not think that the C2X is a good buy. I love the Bengal Cat. Sookie is awesome. Josh, send me that truck, please. Which one? You, I'm so far behind, I have no idea which one you're talking about now. Oh, do I not need it? No, you're still here. I need to get things done, so that's why. I have a few more minutes in May. Or until she starts hollering again. She'll be all right. So. Servo ends. Alex needs servo ends. Oh, yes. They're the worst. Mm -hmm. I'm the worst at shipping. I may get a divorce over my RC collection. What kind of rum is in that Coke? Fireball. Fireball. Uh, in Norway, you can still get the lack shelves in black here. No. The shipping may be a little bit more than... Maybe Nick or Jake can smuggle one back. Mm, they're a pretty good sized box. So it just sucks for you. I know. Can't. I went there to check and I was just like, wait, they only show these in... It said brown black. And I was like... That doesn't sound the same. I went and checked it and it's like a wood grain, dark brown black. And I'm like, that is going to be clearly noticeable that it's not correct. So pissed. I'm the guy with the bangles. We also don't have kids. Uncle like dad, only cooler. Yep. I just ordered a pair of trail walkers for me and a buddy. Might make it a day or two before one nines go on. Do a yep. white, you could do a white one in the middle. I don't, I, that, I don't think that would. You don't need one. I do. How about you just play with what you have and like get rid of what you, I said he could paint it, but. We've seen me paint. You can't, a shelf, like you're an idiot you, that you can't do, that's stupid. That's not mine. Moose Jaw said he could paint it, but I wouldn't make him do that because you're dumb. Me, not you. Was Suki messing with her stitches? None of our pets are. No, she hasn't been messing with them, but the vet just said to leave it on, so we do as we're told by the MDs. The, uh, she is proving to be quite the little window licker. She just licks the inside of her cone, just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she is special. <laughs> Why can't you just make new shelves? Where do you buy these used 
Thank you. You don't have a can of black paint there? That's what I'm saying. That just seems like... You're, that's so dumb and lazy. You know how much it's going to smell like spray paint in here? You're... Wait, you might brush paint it? You think you're, you're going to do it in the house? No, I'm saying even when it's done. like You let it dry. You're a dumbass. It's that WPL. The D12? I keep seeing around that catches my eye. The WPL D12 is pretty fun. I mean, it's a stupid cheap RC that's what? nearly toy grade, but it's still cool. I, what what did you post on Instagram? I don't know. <laughs> Sookie seems like a model cute, but not quite a lot up there. <laughs> um, Hello from Kansas. Hello. Sookie went from screw liquor to window liquor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very, very much true. Um, he can weld, but can't paint. I embrace these things. No, you don't try. Like, spray painting takes zero skill. It just takes... Effort. That's the issue. It just takes effort. I mean, you're saying that the other things that I do don't take effort? Things you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I want to know what happened to the BDI bomber. I sold it. Thank you, Mark Cargill, for I the $5. I sold it and then it's been sold at least once again since. I believe now it belongs to uh, Chad Melton, who I think is in Utah. But I, maybe that's not right. Maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Is a bang good truck a bad way to get into the hobby? If it's what you can afford and then no, do what, do what you got to do. Um, but I feel like there's better ways to spend your money, but if it's what is in your budget, then get it and have fun or look for a used truck just because bang good trucks are oftentimes made much lesser quality and you could have a bad, you could have a bad, uh, experience and then not want to dive into the hobby further. So you know. Uh, scale crawler fab chop five dollars. Thank you. Has price been determined on today's show truck? <laughs> <laughs> it has not. I'll I'll come up with it. Uh, whoever said twelve hundred. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't need to be the brightest light bulb to light up a storage closet. He brings <laughs> home enough to make her happy. Happy might be a stretch. Keep her around, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skipping that uh, one. Looks like the black lock. Chris M. Yes. Thank you, Chris. In stock on Amazon. S done and done it. I key off Amazon. I bet it won't be the same. It'll be a thing good fucking black shelf. It'll be a fact shelf. Once in a budget bill. We <sighs> okay. Josh pros cons on the Charisma Land Rover are ready to run. Don't do it. Uh, the Charisma SCA One E is built pretty flimsy. Part support is bad in the U.S. If you're in the if you're in the EU, then I think it's better. But I would suggest putting your money elsewhere <laughs> if you can. Um, mm. any advice on a Rancho build that's a 14 inch wheelbase? Um, Rancho build 14. Apparently not. I'm sorry. This, this truck is actually missing a bearing on the pinion. Um, just in the front. Uh, it kind of depends on how you're going to build it 
they're they're kind of fun builds. Uh, I built mine using a wraith skid plate and widening everything out. Um, I think that was the easiest way to go. Otherwise, they can be kind of a pain in some ways. Damn it, I have to take a shock back off. Super. Oh my god, stop. I hope my audio processor takes that squeaking out. Ew. Sorry. That was annoying. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Both shocks off. What is that? What is what? You don't hear that? A sappy. God, she's rabbit. Our see you next Tuesday, my favorite. I'll bet the litter robot is also in stock at Amazon, marital harmony and all. Thank you, Chris M. <laughs> see, he gives and he takes. Yeah, the best advice. Then he throws that. We'll see what happens when I leave for a month at Christmas. I bet we'll have one when I get back. A litter robot? Yeah. Or... Oh, <laughs> I see. When you're here by yourself. I'll pay Karina a tenth of that. You're a dumbass. <sighs> Taking the leaf off. Um. Grabbing the wrong. When is somebody going to come out with a decent Jeep CJ body? Oh, uh, I would like to see one that's a 12 3 wheelbase. No, they all hear it. Sorry. Yeah, just missing the pinion bearing. Do you have any for sale he has on his website? Do I have what? Trucks. Um, I don't have a full truck on my website. I only, I have a UC fab Bronco top on a pro line Bronco body. What's for dinner tonight? Jesse wants to know. I don't know. Josh stopped and got dinner. food on his way home. I forgot there was, I got pizza in the fridge, in the freezer. Oh, really? We have a fast Eddie bearing to replace. Hmm. Fixed. Whoa. Drive shaft replaced. And now I have to find that tiny very that set pin. There it is. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Should I get the 1978 Chevy C10 or the 2019 Silverado body for my slash? C10. I'm gonna kill her. C10. Sapphire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> new drinking game. Every time Josh is called a dumbass, we drink. <laughs> that won't end well for you. Why? What? Are you yelling at her still? <laughs> um, I'm skipping Mark's comment. Why? Nothing. Was it about how you never... Uh, new wheels, tires installed in the Gladiator when you're gone, Nicole. <laughs> if that that Wrangler needs to be detailed before he does anything. Did you it. know that we have a detailer moving into the shop next to us? Well, cool. Maybe they'll give you a new neighbor discount. Maybe. But I would like it done. Before. Or they will stop talking to us forever. Yeah, because they'll be like, oh my God, that guy is disgusting. Like that guy is the grossest human being ever. We do not want to be friends with him. He probably has scabies like <laughs> how could someone live like this yeah um thank you timberwolf five dollars i'm thinking of dropping my tfl bronco onto a pair of aftermarket sdx 10 2 axles to shrink the pumpkins thoughts uh yeah i would i think that's a good move get rid of the old scx based style on that one i think that would be a good way to go taking that hard body that fiberglass body that those things have. Um, how long ago did Fast Eddie move to Sacramento? Five years ago, almost. Four years and change. Yeah. He'll trade VP parts for a detail job. Sure. 
We're going to need deets on how gross a Jeep is. It's gross. It's not that gross. Josh must be as bad as my son when it comes to cleaning. If that is a non-existent term in his life, then yes, he is as bad as your son. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Hmm. Would they detail an RC truck? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know what the most I ever lost on a coin toss was. I don't think I ever lost anything, but like the chance to go first on a coin toss. <laughs> like, I used to say, like, at least rock, paper, scissors, they give myself a two out of three odds. Shit. I mean, I don't know that rock, paper, scissors. You, you um, Mark Cargill says I'll trade an ultra to make it look showroom. Ooh. <laughs> okay. How much would a cage cost to make? Let's say it looked like the new one with element, but in metal or aluminum, whatever they're made out of. Um, how much would it cost to make? Like making it yourself, probably 80 to a hundred dollars in material. If you're using DOM tubing and silver solder, um, if you have it made, then it depends on who you have it made by. It could cost you $150 or it could cost you $850. Like it really just depends on the builder. And the ones who charge a lot are usually worth it for their level of talent. Okay. Um, what's your favorite RC car? Vanquish, Ultra, Pro. BS410 Pro. BS410 Pro. What's, uh, can the VP website be updated to remove the 2.2 OMF? Should, that would be me. I should do that. What's cleaner, Nicole's purse or the Jeep? My purse. I have like five things in my purse. Do you want me to go get it? No. Yeah. I mean, exactly. I don't know that that's a, I mean, I'm just worried about your identity and, you know, I wouldn't want it to be stolen by you emptying your purse. If someone stole my identity, they would, <laughs> they would have been way more effort than it was worth. Um, when I first hear her calling him a name, so I assumed it was a drinking game. My bad. <laughs> uh, can't be worse than my car's interior. It's full of concrete dust from my job at Kincaid Ready Mix. Um, it is not worse. It it's is. dusty inside the Jeep. Yeah. It's dusty. That's it. And Oh, it that is not true. That is not true. That is true. At Kincaid Ready Mix. Someone took their Kincaid. What do you need concrete for? School with the Kincaids. Oh, okay. I'm saying. Last coin toss, you got Nicole. <laughs> you take her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Lincoln Head pennies were made 1909 to present. I have near complete collection. My dad gave me his weird collection that I've continued. That's kind of cool. When we were in Nobody. grade George. school, my dad did an estate auction for this lady who was like a depression era. And she had passed. Anyway, as they were auctioning everything off, like everything was filled with old coins. Buffalo head nickels and a bunch of rare coins that I really didn't understand the worth of. And my dad got a bunch of them that we still have. But, or maybe yeah. they, they might have burned. But, um. What sway bar does that have on it? It has one of the early Vanquish, um, sway bars. It actually was, it looks like it was a prototype because it doesn't have any lasering on it. Um, the first car I bought had a bunch of duck hair. Oh, I didn't. What's the time most you spent on most you spent on one truck at one time? I don't. We can't. Um, Jess Harlan, fellow RC wife here. Do you have any hobbies, Nicole? Um, besides making fun of my husband, I like to knit. Um, I like to read. I like TV. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, it was like, you read sometimes. Um, I, just, some, I just finished use... an 800-page book. How many books have you finished in the last five years? How many? A few. A few? Um, Are you sure? Are you sure it's not one? Oh, there's more than, yeah, it's more than one. Is it? Yeah. Anyway. Um, Two? I just recently started riding the super expensive electric bike that my husband bought for no reason that he's never ridden. So, um, I decided that that would be my new hobby. 
And so I, <laughs> now I ride an electric bike around the same path quite a bit, which is fun. It's fine. But he needed it to go off-roading. It was a deal. Okay. Okay. It was a really good. So now I ride an electric bike. So that's, <laughs> that's my forced upon me hobby. That I'm like, somebody has got to use it. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I, I'm on FaceTime quite often. Yeah. She likes TikTok now. I do like TikTok. <laughs> I got her hooked on TikTok. Yeah, I do like TikTok. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't think librarians are supposed to sulk on the job, even angry ones. What's going to enlighten your evening? Um, being done with this um <laughs> is josh too cheap to pay to have your car detailed <laughs> well this is for sale so <laughs> i have a hybrid car try to drag race my police crown vic on i-435 some hybrid cars that could be a good race I have a video of myself doing way too fast on R435. Good night, 3.30 here, catch the rest later. As always, while building, best background, <laughs> background noise, keep it up. Thank you for being here from Norway. What is the bike? Uh, it is a felt. Um, I should remember the model number, but it was like a, it was insane deal. It's like, it was like, 75% off. I don't give a shit. We have it. Oh, I know. I'm just saying like that was it's like a $6,000 bike that I didn't pay. It was an investment. You're stupid. Um, And how many times do you... Did I write it? Yeah. Multiple. You write, like, more time, more than books you've read in the last five years. <laughs> Give me that. I'm lucky that spray bottle's not over here. <laughs> Stupid. Um, I like enough to talk to the screen above her. There's two. We have. I have two monitors with. You can see our. We can see ourselves up there. Then we have a monitor below with the chats going. So I have to look at something. I don't know what else to look at. It's a. It's an amateur YouTuber thing to not look at the camera and to look at the picture of yourself. Well, I like to make sure my face doesn't look fat. You can, there's a little monitor there. Too. I can't see there. You can't see my double chin there. <laughs> I have to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I, like I said, we had this conversation literally. If I cared about things like that. I would oh, be... she was in a wedding a few weeks ago, month ago, whatever it was. Oh, the wedding photos came back. So all the rest of the wedding photos are good, but one is a meme. I am a meme. I'm a, oh, I am a yeah. real life meme. Like, <laughs> there's always that one friend. Like everyone looks beautiful. <laughs> it's a good thing you were on the edge. You're easily cropped. So I know, right? I think that was on purpose. I think she had the tall, like she had me like the tallest girl and they're like, the tall girls are at the end. <laughs> so we can crop them. <laughs> crop these girls out. I'm not a photogenic human. I don't think that Pale people are photogenic. You we can't... have we have nine photos together. Yeah. Two of them are good. Yeah. I'm not photogenic either. Oh, you I can't even. You're nothing compared to me. You're great compared to me. So... Even my mom, my mom's like, all my friends will be like, I, they're always like, oh, don't say that. You're photogenic. And I'm like, oh, wait. And then they're like, Oh, <laughs> you're right. No, you're not. Like, yeah, I know. It's, it's like okay. no matter what, whenever you pause a video, you're always making a stupid face. Like you can pause any video of anybody talking and they always stop with like the, and you just, I don't, maybe it's because you never stop talking. Maybe. So you're just always mid. Hmm. Yeah. Could yeah. be it. See? Katie, scientific, asked, yeah. Katie scientific asked me why I was, um, if I was making a dinosaur face, and I said, <laughs> I think I was jumping, but like 
How is that an explanation? Your both looks... feet are on the ground. I know. Is it like the face you make before you think about jumping? Maybe. That like. like... <laughs> I don't. I mean, if I cared about that kind of thing, like my life would be miserable. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you would, you would not be an Instagram star. <laughs> I'm not. I don't even get on Instagram. Like, um, Nicole, five dollars. Thank you, Dale. We're we're still waiting for knitting with Nicole live streams. My wife said she'd watch wine and knitting. That would be so. That would be more boring than this is. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm the friend that never gets put on speaker and most times <laughs> at the beginning of the conversation, this is a family gathering. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I mean, I'm, yeah. Do we send spray bottles to fast days for next week? <laughs> um, yeah. That's usually me too. What's that? The the photogenic friend? No, the and also the speaker phone. Oh yeah. And a, no, this just isn't for you guys. <laughs> to put on this show for any This is not putting on a show. Right, that's what I'm that's what yeah. I meant. This is just I have a very um yeah. It's like one of my worst like or like worst straight like I I catch myself and then cuss at myself for saying like I can't, I just, like, shit, I have sorry. a bad thing. Like, I can never fake it. Like, I just can't fake things. Like, there's nothing. Like... I know. Wow. 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 I'm just surprised. I'm surprised at you. Did I tell you what Emily said about that picture? She no. said, I'm, she goes, wow, they really captured your true essence. <laughs> and then she said, this is my new background. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. <laughs> we missed it, but oh, dang it. <laughs> oh. Thirty sevens on a gladiator is where it's at. I I agree. They do look good, but we just drive I I'm just trying to keep it I'll make it look a little bit better, but still just as drivable. So we had 35s on the current Jeep previously. And we drove we drove from Kansas City to Pennsylvania. And then where else did we drive that summer? We drove to the Gulf. No, I switched them before we went to the Gulf. Remember? Because after that trip to Pennsylvania in the Jeep with the 35s, we were just like. Oh, I hate driving. I hated driving that thing when it had those on there. Yeah. It was just like. Nope. So. Spray bottles and whiskey to Fast Eddie's copy. Shit, messed up. Sent spray bottles full of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Josh wearing an RC four wheel drive hat and pearl line t shirt under his wedding tux jacket photo? <laughs> I don't think so. Are you? <laughs> no. Then the frame on my via. I tried to. I was like, Are we gonna? Are you gonna like drive an RC car down the aisle? And he was like, No. No. I'm like okay, cool. I, I like RC cars, but... Nicole has so many problems, you can't count them all. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Cuss jar has to go in a cuss barrel. An old 55-gallon drum. <laughs> Gladiator will take 37s without a lift. Yeah. But I think to do 37s, you need the uh, Highline Fenders, which the Overland does not have. Now I keep now I keep trying not to look at that. and Look I at what? The... The one up there. It's fine. I have to. No one thinks you're trying to be a broadcast star. <laughs> I don't want to be on the camera at all, period. She wants to go back to the one where we had her off to the side. That was the best. I had my own microphone. I could silently flip them off, and it was great. I, don't, I was like, nope. A little stronger at the bottom. Yeah, it is. I was like, Whoa. I was like, a... so you know, um, what? I got down a rabbit hole about absinthe last night. 
I did. I learned all about it. Why? Because I was watching a show and it takes place in New Orleans and a girl ordered a Saz Sazerac. Oh my gosh, BT 20. Thank you. Hey, we haven't seen BT. We haven't forever. seen you for a while. Hope Not that well. you don't have to give us money, but we missed you. Um, but I was, and she ordered a Sazerac. And so I looked it up to see what it was. And it's a New Orleans drink, but they like put the absinthe in the glass with ice. They coat the glass and then they dump it out. And then they put the other stuff in there. And I was like, why don't you just leave it in? Then put the other in. Well, yeah, but then I was like looking at other things and I was like, so then I like, is absinthe legal? Um, and then I got down a rabbit hole about it, and then that's why I sent you that link. Yeah, you sent me a link of trying to buy absinthe. Yeah. $200 for a bottle of absinthe. But it was like a whole kit, which was kind of cool. It was like the nice, like the fork thing where you put the sugar cube and then yeah. pour it over, but still no. I mean, but it like... Yeah. What do you mean, no? I mean, Busy. more because of the $200 than the fact that you're drinking absinthe. If you can go somewhere and drink absinthe and just pay, I know, but don't you pay want, less. Like, so I, I remember watching the Moulin Rouge, that the movie, and I was like, I gotta try this shit. I don't know that I ever saw that movie. What's your favorite tequila? No tequila. What was that one that John had that one time? There's this tequila from Mexico with the leather on the oh. outside. And it is so good. All right, we'll see if it comes back. Hold on a second. We might be live. Damn it. <laughs> Hold on, please. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. God, everything. Red's fine. There. Yeah, we just completely lost power. Everything shut off. Our internet didn't go or left to reset the router. So. I'm watching it. Yeah, you're watching us. Yeah. That's. <laughs> so, anyway, well, I'm sure we I lost. Got out of it. I'm sure we lost most of our viewers. We did, but that's okay. We appreciate it for those who stuck around and obviously that will Josh is acting sus that's new lingo is it it is it's from a game called among us which I have not played yet and it actually looks kind of fun you're probably live in there Guess what? Happened again. It's probably going to happen again after this. So, I'm guessing that since we, I'm sure we've lost basically what the rest, of, yes. We're probably done for the night. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> what a, it was a great stream. It was so much fun too. I think that's probably going to do it for tonight because, oh, yeah, I think that might have been the warning from before. Okay. Uh, I don't know. We could be dropping frames right now, too. So either way, I think that this is probably going to wrap up tonight's stream before we lose it for the third time. So with that, um, thank you. Yeah, we're buffering again. but. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you everybody for joining. It was a great time. <laughs> if you see that, if you happen to get yeah, this, if you're still at, if you're still on here, thanks or if for it. Even comes through. Yeah, it shows that it's buffering on our side, but who knows what uh, is is happening? So it was a fun stream while it was going. So 
and again it just shows that it's buffering so anyway i think that's going to do it i'm going to clean up put this stuff away and assume that we're going to lose power again very shortly so thanks as always and we will see you next time next week later guys